Welcome one and all, welcome one and all. all I continue to share and you do the same. Ben ben. Mount Vernon, Yonkers. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Good morning. Good evening. Good night. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is indeed my pleasure to have you as guests this afternoon. Right here on the mix, my heartbeat of a program. The name of Jesus. I believe it. I believe it. Say good afternoon to VON Radio with Rabbi Keith Elijah Thompson and his entire congregation of Bronx Miracle Gospel Tabernacle. Good afternoon to you all. Yes, yes. Say good afternoon to my Facebook family and my YouTube family. And while we're doing this, let us continue to share these children, won't you? Yes. Tag someone, share someone, do your thing. Sam is Cheetah in charge. She's a head person of YouTube. And Shawnee, God's blessing, head person. No, Shawnee is for YouTube. Sam is for Facebook oh, on a Wednesday. Oh, God bless you, Taj Blake. I see you. My God, my God, my God. Oh, um, Sam is a greeting to you. And you look fresh. Boy, if I saw fresh look, Sam is. We don't like it. Oh. Only hoping you feel like you look. No, Samis. Oh. I don't feel like I look, but it's the grace, Samis. Jesus. Me say a grace, Samis. I mean, I know if a grace mix up with Lasco and all of them other stuff there. Oh. But tired of bust my shirt. The name tired of bust my t shirt. Oh. Oh. When we call upon the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Things happen, you know, everything happened that is good. Oh, oh, oh. I want to hear about my morning, I can tell you. Oh, oh. Uh, you know how it goes. Yeah. I start out this year thinking, okay, I'm just going to have one job and that is the Pollyanna Project where I'm not like you know like a little puppet Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. then God just changed the direction and say you're a puppet so let's get the pulling startings <laughs> God said you're a puppet <laughs> the strings they must have to pull oh forget the noise I apologize for the noises guy so God said me a puppet and we must get pulled left right and center <laughs> I call you Jesus. Good afternoon to you, tired boss. <laughs> yeah, laughing. <laughs> tired of boss my t-shirt. It not boss in my shot. It not boss my t-shirt. Good afternoon, every one of you. Good afternoon, wherever you're locked from. Jesus. It seems like this is what's gonna happen today, right? Huh? When my tired, my crack wally pa joke, you know, my telling her something. When my tired, my crack wally pa joke, I'm gonna tell her something. I said, my pack wants something sending off to Nigeria. Hopefully, we're going to send that off to Pastor Debbie NGO in Nigeria. Yes. And I'm packing for Jamaica. Yes. Good day um, to you as well. I see Uncle Trevor on Facebook. Yes. God bless you, Uncle. God bless you. We're going to take it back from the top because I need to call on the name of Jesus, you know. I tell you guys, I'm so tired. You know, should I say, me I climb up? When I climb up one at a time, you know, when I climbed up one of the time, remember me age. <laughs> <laughs> when I climbed up today, I had to get a chair to get on the table to get the boxes in order to stack them, you know. And it's when I was up on the table and I looked down and I said, But Dana, you're not no young smarty. If you drop and broke some part of you, Dana, it will take long to get better, you know. I was trying to do the video so I could show you guys what I did today. But maybe during the course of the day, I will show you what, what I did. I'm going to see if I can send them and, you know, do a little something or something. Jesus. But the children are here. The name is great. The May is here. Jesus. Christian is here. Oh. Layla 
Messiah is here. The divine is here. And you're listening to Precious. Michelle Registi, good afternoon. How is your vacation down there in Dominica, darling? Jesus. Play the song once again, man. This is our beautiful baby girl, Precious Emmanuel. Give me a chance to get my headspace around this voice. Give me a minute. Um, Natalie, give me a minute. It's great. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Welcome to the one and only Ruth Cooper. Welcome. I see Auntie Debbie God favor me. Brissett, all of the aunties and uncles are here. Uncle Adlington, you out there? Yeah, just give me a minute, guys. I literally just run right in here. I mean, in about half an hour ago, I just got inside here. The children are here. They are indeed here. The name of Jesus. And Auntie Natalie is waiting on the sides because you know we can't do anything without setting the foundation of prayers. And Auntie Natalie will be coming to pray us open this morning, good this afternoon, and also this tonight. The name of Jesus. Joyce Robinson, good afternoon, Auntie Joyce. Auntie Debbie, remember to share the broadcast, won't you? Won't you share? Please, today, share them. Oh. At hashtag them. Jesus. At them. Oh. Send them far. Oh. The name of this is what we have, guys. Oh. Especially for all of the aunties, we, we can depend on them. Show them some love. Oh. They are committed. The name Jesus Christ. They are loyal. Oh. Beautiful. They are talented. Yeah. They love the Lord. Oh. The most high they love. Of Jesus. Oh. Can I tell you that they love you too? They love you too. Of Jesus. Oh. So tag a, a group. Every day. Tag a company. Every We're calling upon the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because we believe who he say he is. He's the only true thing, the true person that we can depend on. Hey. Let me say good afternoon. My name is Donna Moore Stewart and I'm coming to you out of the studios of 106.9 Positive Radio. We are located in the city of Money Earning, Mount Vernon, in the state of New York. And we do have lovely, lovely, lovely neighbors in the Boogie Down Bronx. Good afternoon, Bronx people. I want to do, I want to do. God bless you. Um, let me say good afternoon to those who are in Yonkers and those who are residing in New Rochelle and Pelham. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, Michelle says everything is beauty, making hobby happy. Hey, Michelle, my head went there. Mich 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 Michelle, what make you what make you do this so early, Michelle? Mi Samis, may I beg you talk to Michelle? May I beg you talk to Miss Happy birthday to your husband. <laughs> Michelle said, I'm making hubby happy for his birthday. Michelle, I went there and, and I'm not confessing either. I went there in my headspace. Me, a grown woman, me supposed to can go there. Yes. So continue to make hubby, um, <laughs> continue to make hubby nice. Me make him stay nice for, I mean, for a very, very long time to Michelle. So God bless you. God bless you. And happy birthday, Mr. Registy. Thank you for your beautiful wife for sharing her with us right here. And of course, we want to thank you and may God continue to bless you, bless you, bless you. All right. So we're getting ready. Michelle is um, on a start too early. You know, I'm not playing with you. you know. Uncle Leroy is here. Auntie Lucy is here. God bless all of you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. And most of all, please stay.
if there is any broadcast that I I have that people peek in and leave, this is not one of them that you should peek in and leave because God lives here. He, 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 he show up in his children. His word is manifesting and coming alive through these young people, through his children. And that's why I tell people, I don't want to grow up. I don't want to really and truly grow up. I am an adult. I do adult things. But that part of me that remain childlike, I want to keep that. Right. And so um, these children will come and they're going to be ministering the word of God, how they interpret the word of God. They're going to be doing that all afternoon. So we're waiting for our prayer auntie to call. She has been doing this for a very long time here on this broadcast. Her name is Natalie Mee Young. I dubbed her my day one. Because when the Macedonia call came out, Natalie was there and I appreciate her and I respect her. And, you know, I'm just so proud of Natalie Mee Young. We want to say happy birthday once again to Michelle Registy husband. You know that Michelle is one of us. She's a sold out pollinator. And I, that's all I can talk about, the Pollyanna Project. Last week, we did a TKO people total knockout of a broadcast today my t-shirt let me see if i can tell you what it is saying it says we're boxing yeah we're boxing today we still have all this we're still going to be fighting so i believe that um last week we do a total um what you call it a total oh that's something i look so ill shape it you know box today we're going to continue we are indeed going to continue so natalie auntie natalie when you're ready i am indeed ready now to hear your how you're going to open tonight's program because samaya is on on the the, the dub plate the thing the turntable waiting to start off our broadcast i want to say good afternoon and welcome to um, Josephine Ramsey. Good afternoon, Josephine. Good afternoon and welcome. Hello? Hello? What happened this? Uh, call back Natalie. Why I tell you? Yes, call back Natalie. Sometimes these things, them have their own attitudes and behaviors. Let's see if we get it now. Good afternoon and welcome. <laughs> Good afternoon, aunties, uncles. How are you doing today? Uh, you know, say so you never say you, you know, aunties and uncle. Mm -hmm. Big up yourself, man. Big mm -hmm. up to all the aunties and to all the uncles. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead, woman of God. Are you home yet? <laughs> yes. Okay. Wonderful. God bless you. Yes. yes. <laughs> So we are in the land of the living, and I thank God for that. So let's pray. Amen. Father, we just want to thank you for a day that we can come together and encourage each other, God. And whatever we have or we do, let it be an encouragement to each other, God. And as the kids come, God, whatever they have in store for us, God, let it be a blessing. Let us learn from even the smallest child. Because in the word of God, we should train up a child. Mighty God, I thank you for them, God, because I do learn from them and they encourage my soul. So, Father, just take control tonight, God. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. God bless you, Natalie. Auntie Natalie, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen, amen. I see head second in charge of YouTube is here. Um, Jeanette Benjamin, I know everyone sort of got busy. And, and, and I'm thanking God that you are busy. You know, it's kind of weird, but I'm thanking God that we're busy. Because when we're busy doing his work, um, he can be glorified and magnified to us. All right. So let me get it started. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. If you're just joining, Natalie Jackson, welcome. Thank you for coming, Natalie Jackson. 
Welcome to The Mix, where we're mixing all people, big and small, fostering togetherness through the kingdom of God. We're mixing the children together and the adults as well. If you want to, as an adult, you can definitely call in and participate at some point because this program is all about you. So ladies and gentlemen, this young baby, she started with me when she was um, just before she three, two plus. Now she's six years old. She uh, she started out by um, doing the telephone number, I think, uh, you know, repeating the telephone number. And then she migrated to memory verse and, and, and all of that. So now Samaya is six years old, four years later, and she's still with me. So let's go to Samaya out of Golden Spring, Jamaica. Hi, my name is Samaya. The memory verse is taken from Isaiah 26, verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Hi, my name is Samir. The man verse is taken from Isaiah 26, verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Hi, my name is Samir. The man verse is taken from Isaiah 26, verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in you. Did she say peace? Amen. Amen. Um, Isaiah 6, Isaiah 26, verse 3. I believe, I believe God is going to do something wonderful through us tonight. And um, I can only give God an advance thanks for what he is about to do. I will be playing Christian Crook songs throughout the afternoon um, as God would lead it. Um, let me get Christian up on the broadcast so you can see the young man that is about to sing for you this afternoon good evening auntie don in the mix my name is christian crooks and to, uh, on this wednesday i will be singing amazing grace this is a very special song so i will sing it to the best of my capability i hope you enjoy amazing grace how sweet the sound that saves a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now. Was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace! The hour I first believed Through many dangers, toils, and sins I have always Thus far, and grace will lead me home. The Lord has promised good to me. He 
is worth my hope so He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. When Bright shining as the sun, we know less days to sing God's praise. Ooh, when we first begun. Thank you. You are indeed welcome, 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 Christian. God bless you. God bless you, everyone, for joining the children from across the world. Um, Cynthia Godfrey, welcome. Thank you for joining. Remember to share the broadcast, everyone. If you did not get a chance to share, can we up the share button? The share button is the kind button. You know what I mean? It is really the kind button. You know, when you when when you see someone, when you see us do what we do, it really is just letting us know that you know you appreciate. Uh, Molly is back. Welcome, Auntie Molly. Molly, welcome back. Good to see you. Good afternoon to Dr. Tom's Thomas and, of course, Desling and everyone there um, in the doctor's office at 236th Street in the Boogie Down Bronx. God bless you. God bless you. I know you love the children and this is perfect for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to keep Christian on my shoulder. Uh, I'm keeping Christian on my shoulder today. Um, because I must be obedient. So he's going to be on my shoulder all afternoon. And then we're going to be going to Nigeria. This nine-year-old, he's eight-year, this eight-year-old is in Nigeria. And he will be um, coming with affirmation. So if you have your pen, and I must apologize for the sound that that is that is coming through on my in my broadcast. I must apologize, but um, there's nothing I can do about it. All right, it's coming like me up on the street at the open air broadcast. Coming like a that melt here though, open air broadcast. So maybe I should think of think that is it, and then you know it will be all right. All right, guys. So let us um, go to flourish right now. Flourish. <laughs> Hello everyone, you are listening to Positive Praise Radio, 106.9 FM New York. My name is Flourish Emmanuel. I'm nine years old, speaking from the beautiful city of Abuja, Nigeria, West Africa. I please kindly say these few words of encouragement with me. My level has changed. My status has changed. By the mercy and favor of God. So always remember to stay tuned to Positive Praise Radio, 106.9 FM, New York. My name is Flourish Emmanuel. I'm nine years old, speaking from the beautiful city of Abuja, Nigeria, West Africa. I please kindly say these few words of encouragement with me. My level has changed. My status has changed. By the mercy and favor of God. I please kindly say these few words of encouragement with me. My level has changed. My status has changed by the mercy and favor of God. 
So always remember to stay tuned to positive. Please say this few words of encouragement with me. My level has changed. My level has changed. My status has changed. My status has changed. By the mercy and favor of God. By the mercy and favor of God. I want to play this one. I want to play this song for you. Ooh. It's called Do You Believe? Bang, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Hey. Let me go, let me go. Oh, Father, no one that your level has changed your status has changed by the mercy of god so you i believe So we're going to play it more round here. We're going to play it more round here. You got, you believe? You do, you believe. And because time is just slowly creeping up on us, we're going to be going to Nigeria right now. You just heard from Precious. Um, you heard from Precious. You heard from Flourish. Now you will be hearing from Divine Emmanuel. These are three siblings coming out of Nigeria. So I, I am thanking God for their mother. Um, I'm not sure she hasn't reached us yet, but I'm thanking God for her mother, for their mothers who share them, is sharing them with the world. So let's go to Divine Emmanuel now out of Nigeria. Good day, everyone. You're listening to Positive Praise Radio 106.9 FM, New York. Broadcasting on the down in the Bronx, Mount Vernon, Yonkers, and Lower Westchester. My name is Divine Emmanuel, bringing you the news from Nigeria, the headlines. Federal government vows clamp down on cartels, traders inflating commodity prices. Federal government starts disbursement process for presidential conditional grants. The federal government has vowed to take stringent regulatory measures against traders unfairly inflating prices of goods and commodities. The government, through its agency, the Federal Commission and Consumer Protection Commission, FCCPC, expressed worry that despite the recent appreciation of the Naira against the dollar, consumers continue to face escalating costs without a corresponding decrease in prices of goods and com commodities. The situation is unacceptable, and the FCCPC is committed to protecting consumers from exploitation, the, commission, the Commission's Chief Adamu Abdullahi said in a statement on Wednesday. The FCCPC understands the significant financial strain these rising prices are placing on Nigerian households. As a result, the Commission is taking proactive steps to address this issue. While the FCCPC cannot directly regulate prices, the Commission will utilize its existing legal framework to enforce fair competition and consumer protection provisions. This includes monitoring and investigating unusual price hikes, addressing complaints filed by consumers, and taking action against any business found to be engaging in anti-competitive practicing, such as price fixing, price gouging, or cartel formation. The Commission said its operators have been directed to intensify monitoring of both formal and informal markets where businesses may be taking advantage of market conditions to unfairly inflate prices and ramp up enforcement activities. The operators will be working collaboratively with traders, associations, farmer groups, and other stakeholders to identify and remove unnecessary barriers to, entry, to entry in various sectors, combat combat price fixing and dismantle cartels. This will encourage increased competition, ultimately leading to lower prices for consumers. An illustration of inflation and minister 
Wale Edun, meanwhile, the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of Economy Wale Edun said that the Nigerian economy is moving in the right direction, as the policies of new administration has started slowing down food inflation. The minister spoke virtually on China Television's Business Incorporated program on Tuesday from Washington, D.C., where he is attending the IMF World Bank Spring Meetings. The federal government has started the disbursement process for press for the presidential conditional grant scheme. This is according to a Tuesday statement from the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. We are pleased to inform you that the disbursement process for the presidential conditional grant program has officially commenced, the statement read. A number of beneficiaries have already received their grants, marking the beginning of our phased disbursement strategy. It is said while some beneficiaries have gotten the grant, others will get theirs later. In collaboration with telecommunications providers, we have successfully resolved the initial delays in sending out short codes for NIN verification and applications continuation, the ministry added. By Friday, 19th, April, 2024, a significant disbursement will be made to a substantial number of verified applicants. It is essential to understand that the disbursements are ongoing and not all applicants will receive the grant on this initial date. The federal government launched the scheme last year as part of moves to combat economic hardship owing to the fuel subsidy removal in the country. It is targeted at nano businesses, enterprises with one or two workers and less than an annual turnover of three million, with each beneficiary getting 50,000 naira. The scheme is expected to reach one million small businesses in the 774 local government areas of the country and the six council areas in the federal capital territory. Now. Wow, that is where is is presentation end. I want to thank precious um, Divine Emmanuel for such great news for the Nigerian people. Thank you, very, Uncle Leroy, for, um, for acknowledging that. Um, because you know we don't get our news anywhere we get news right here on positive radio and the mix from the children that is what happens you know because we are always on social spaces and we start to believe in social spaces news so thank you very much divine emmanuel ladies and gentlemen we're not going to waste mu uh, too much time um samis I, I i don't know let me tell you something guys when i said i don't label the content from these children i i do hope you all believe me you know because guess what Layla is busy with schoolwork. Layla is doing her exams and you know how passionately i am for them when they are busy if they're busy that's fine we have content here but i samis i don't know what i'm going to be playing as it regards because i'm just going to be trusting god so without further ado I'm going to be going to Layla out of the United Kingdom. I'm just going to trust God. Yeah, I'm going to trust God. That, that, that one that I'm playing, it just fits in. God is indeed awesome. So let, And I hope it's Layla and not Tay because how they're, you got to know that when, they're, when, I, when I download them to the system, it's their address that shows up. I'm not going to call out their address. But it's their address that shows up, Samis. So let's hear what's going on here. Hello, Auntie Twan. I told you this is not Layla. I told you. I, oh, oh, am I going to find Layla? I don't know. Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning to Auntie Donna and all the listeners, depending on where you are in the world. I'm Leila, I'm 15 years old, and I'm talking to you out of the UK. And today I'm going to be speaking on James 4, 6 through 7. Verse 6 says, But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. It's a clear and direct statement. It's a clear cut message in this verse saying the people that walk around and live their lives humbly, 
And when they come to God, come to him lowly, he will give grace unto what those who are proud and boastful or he resists. This doesn't mean the Bible says God will be with you at all times. This doesn't mean those who are boastful, God's going to flee from. Um, it doesn't mean that those who are boastful, God's, God is going to forsake because he's not going to do that. It means those who are boastful and proud and act in this way, the grace simply just won't come to them. It's as plain and simple as that. It says, verse 7 says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. As Christians, every day we're in a spiritual battle. Undeniably, every single day. Every minute, every second, every hour, every day, we're in a spiritual battle. 365 days a year, we're in a spiritual battle with the devil. We are in spiritual warfare. If you sit sit down, wear your armour of God and pray and live your life the way you're meant to, by the word, and you know the word, and you resist the devil, the devil will flee from you. Because... You've got God with you and you've got God in you. The devil's not more powerful than God. Devil will flee with you and go find someone else. Else to turn to his side. And those who are walking on the path of salvation, Satan is scared of you. Satan is shaking. Satan is terrified because as the devil knows that you, the people that are walking with God, they're the same people coming for him. Him, they're the same people in that warfare against him that are on this side. The, so the devil is scared. It says, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hand, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. It says, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. If you sit there... Your day-to-day life, expecting God to try and force himself into your heart, force himself into your will, will force himself into where you are. He's not going to do that. God doesn't force himself into places. It's Trust me, God wants to be close and near to you, but if you don't want to be close and near to God, God's not going to try and sit here and force himself to get close and near to you when he knows straight up that you don't want to be near him, you don't want to be with him. Him. God in this world has given us the option of choice. And if you choose to stay away from him and distance yourself from him, he's not going to try and force you to get closer to him. So when you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. But the same way when you draw near to God, God will, will draw near to you. When you move far away from God, God is not going to be coming near to you, trying to force his way into your heart. It says, the Bible says, open your heart to the Lord. If you don't want to open your heart, God's not going to force you to open it. If your heart is locked and tight and it's shut, then God's not going to force his way inside your heart. Oh, God wants his people to be people that want His pe- that want to be his people. He don't want to force anyone to be one of his people. The Bible says, cleanse ye hands, ye sinners. This doesn't mean go to the bathroom and wash your hands. That's not what it means. It means that us as people, we have sinned. Everyone has, Christian or not, believer or not, everyone has sinned. Every single person. It says, cleanse ye hands. So when you have sinned and sinned, it's quite simple. Repent, come to God lowly and humbly and repent for your sins. And if you do that, you're cleansed. And that's how you cleanse yourself with God, with the blood of Jesus. It also says, purify ye hearts, ye double-minded. A lot of people, that they come and they want to be on the line of sin. And they want to be on the very, very edge. 
lying or sin instead of trying to get far away from it instead of trying to get far away from it as they should be as a believer they're sitting there standing on the line of sin about to be dragged onto satan's side just staying far enough away that they're not quite there yet you don't want to live on that line of sin you want to live far far away from god some people they want to be two-sided it, how are you going to sit here and try and stand with the devil, but also trying to stand with God? doesn't make any sense when there's spiritual warfare and there's two sides. You can't fight for both sides. It don't work that way. It's quite simple. So when you stand here as a people, you need to make sure you're not double-minded and you know where which side you're on and where you're at. You need to know for definite that I'm with God. I'd now want the enemy to flee from me. As far as I'm concerned, I want to be a deterrent to the enemy. I want him to be scared when he sees me. I want, on in your mind, you should know that when the enemy sees me, I want him to shake. I want him to cower. I want him to flee because I've got with me and I've got on the side and I've got within me. And I'm a warrior on, on his side. Therefore, the devil cannot touch me. I don't think some people realise that once you have God with you, you're untouchable by the devil's standards. Uh, the, that, the devil? The devil can't touch you. The devil can't shake you, nor can he take you. Because you have God with you, and you have the word, and you believe in him. Um, um, if you're wearing your armour of the God, the devil cannot take you. He cannot up rip you into his hands. Today, Auntie Donna, I want to leave you with are you unshakable or are you takeable it's quite simple are you unshakable or can the devil not rattle you or are you someone that the devil can take on his side because you're living on that lip right on that lap rip you into his hands today auntie donna i want to leave you with are you unshakable or are you takeable are you unshakable or are you takeable? Are you unshakable? Or are you takeable? With are you unshakable? Or are you takeable? It's quite simple. Are you unshakable? Or can the devil not rattle you? Or are you someone that the devil can take on his side because you're living on that right on that line between sin and salvation? Thank you, Auntie Donna, and all the listeners. As I hope you all have a blessed day, night, afternoon, and a blessed rest of the week. See you next Wednesday. Good evening, Auntie Don in the Mix. My name is Christian Crooks, and to, uh, on this Wednesday, I will be singing Amazing Grace. This is a very special song, so I will sing it to the best of my capability. I hope you enjoy. Amazing. Are you guys having the gooses? I know I'm not alone in goosey land. I know I am not alone in goosey land. A wretch like me. I believe God, man. You got to say you believe God. I, I trust God. Was, but now I was blind. You should always trust God. Now I see. Welcome, welcome, Sister Shirley Lumney. Trust grace that taught my heart to feel and grace my fears we Trusting in God. Trusted. He will not embarrass you. Yes. Because he knows the glory belongs to him. He, he wants the glory. He, uh, he, he deserves the glory, right, Uncle Leroy? Believe. My 
God, the right one, Psalmist. We have to trust the Spirit of God. My God. Just we say good afternoon if you're just joining. Matimba Simboko out of Zambia. How are you guys? And grace will lead me home. The Lord has promised good to me. He is worth my hope. Leila, thank you very much. Are you unshakable or can the devil play TikTok with you? Are you unshakable? Does does when enemy come upon you, when when the enemy comes upon you like a flood, you know, um the, the enemy is supposed to be shaking. The enemy is supposed to be shaking. You know, um, I, 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 you know, Michelle just writes something and let, let, let me read it for those who are listening on the radio. She said, a wonderful scripture passage from Sumi and Christian singing is so touching. I want to cry. Flourish is amazing, is amazing young man. He gives me affirmation. My level and status has changed by the mercy and the favor of God. News from the vine, the FCCPC protecting the consumers from exploitation and the grants to help so many small businesses is wonderful news. Then Layla, James 4 verse 6, God re resisted the proud and give it grace to the humble. The question is, are you unshakable for God? Are you take all oh, glory be to God, Jesus? And I don't do this. It's kind of early. For, well, you all don't see that my color is changing already. Samus, I look like you. <laughs> Samus, I am totally a beetroot. I am just totally a beetroot. Um, thank you very much for that, Michelle. Keep it locked. And somebody asked me what I was doing, you know, about my day. Um, I want to see if I get and uh, grab another one of this and add it here as well. Um, when God bless us, when God blesses us, we ought to bless others. And um, that's what we do at the Pollyanna Project. So somebody asked me what was my day like? This is what I have been doing doing all morning. So I was at the warehouse. And for those of you who are pollinators, and that's the bottom of the box, right? That's the bottom of the box. And um, we, we, we're, we're sending items. Pastor Debbie is in charge of nonprofit in the area of the area of Ghana, no, Nigeria that she is. And, and, um, and I, 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 we want to be able to to support her. Uh, um, we, meaning you as well, you are part of the Pollyanna Project. Um, 
so this morning I recognize that God is blessing us. And if he's blessing me, you know, if you notice that we don't want to come out and do a lot of collection for asking for donation because God has blessed us, all of us, um, sister Shirley. And, um, so all we have to do when God is blessing us, all we do is we, all we have to do is do the work when he is blessing and um, he has blessed us so much that we have enough to share. Um, so I, I was at the, the warehouse all, all morning this morning. Just um, I was at the warehouse um, packing, 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 because we want to be able to send the items out to Nigeria. Um, so if you see this, this is what Auntie Donna have been doing. I have one more I want to, to, to add to it as well to the, the video. For those of you who are on radio, you're not going to see it. But um, for those of you who are on social spaces, you will have access to it. All right. I'm going to try and make them as big as possible. So the, 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 this is Pastor Debbie. I saw Pastor Debbie, um, her, I, her passion, and her passion, of course, is, is to, to help those in need. Uh, what Pastor Debbie does what Pastor Debbie does. I want to sort of close out some of them so that you guys can see this is what we do, right? So this morning I got up and I went to the warehouse and, you know, we're packing for Jamaica as well because we have a project that we are going to be doing. And when the project come through, you will see. Um, Neville, you come here, you show yourself. Good afternoon, Neville. Big up yourself, Elder Neville Ferguson. All right, guys. Um, so so when when we have been blessed, um, that's what we do. And in this, this is like the bottom of the box. So the box is taller than myself. And you know, as I tell you today, when I went went into the box, my Saturday did last, we have to try and climb my way out. And we're packing these heading to Nigeria um, to Pastor Debbie. It has T-shirts, um, athletic gears for those who need it. It has gloves. It has thermometer. It has mask. It has lots of stuff that is in there. So when she does go out, it is... Um, you know, it goes out. I, I trust and believe Pastor Debbie will do exactly what our sponsors required us to do. And that's one of the reasons why we are assisting and facilitating her. We have gotten to the point where all we can do at the Pollyanna Project is to facilitate those smaller NGO that comes underneath us so that they can get the, we all can get the work done. So um, if if I look nice, Psalmist, it's because my tired, tired I had a bus my shirt. And let me see if we find this. Yeah, this th these are some masks that we got. And we have never yet, um, we have never dictated how the Pollyanna project is. The Pollyanna project dictates to us how she wants to be represented every every year. And this year, of course, we are going to be, you know, just doing exactly what she dictates. So we have thermometers, we have, yeah, thermometers, right? You would think it was books and yeah, yeah. We have thermometers. We're sending hundreds of thermometers to, 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 to Africa. Thermometers, gloves, uh, gloves. And Mataya, I don't, you know, I'm tired really. <laughs> thermometers, gloves, um, mask, lots of mask, um, t-shirts and, 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 and other stuff we're going to be putting in it. And that should be adding out to pass the Debbie. It takes her about maybe two or three months to get to her. So we will just, you, we know, pass the Debbie. And, and of course, anyone that is affiliated or with me, if I am blessed, you just bless, you are blessed. And also, um, I want to let you know that, you know, we have some of these giving out. Where is it? Um, it, I don't know if you can see this doll. 
of course, you know, we are the WNBA for the Brooklyn Nets, um, um, Brooklyn Liberty and Brooklyn Nets. We have some of these. Guys, if you would want one, you can just reach out to Auntie Donna and we, we can give you one. I'll tell you who she is. Her name, her name is um, Sabrina. I can't pronounce her name. You know, let me see if I can do it. Ionisco. Sabrina Ionisco. Um, she is a star in the WNBA. And we have our dolls to give out. We're of course we're gonna be sending them to we're gonna be sending them to Jamaica and to Africa. You know, um, a child would love these. So we're going to be, um, so if you guys want one, you know, Auntie Donna, you know, when we get it, we're not supposed to sell it and we must be truthful to what we, what we have given. So if you want to be a part of us, um, just reach out to me and I will definitely, definitely ensure that you receive one for a child. So um, just continue to keep, thank you, Psalmist. Thank you, says, um, that's good. God's grace upon you, Auntie. Let me tell you something. His grace, you know, is, is, is sufficient to keep me. His grace is indeed sufficient to keep me. So we're doing something in Jamaica. And of course, I'm not giving you details on my life because I have been trolled. I am being trolled. Whatever I plan and talk to do, it's, you know, how it go. So um, I will give, you know, Maybe we need to create a group for those who are sponsored who, 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 who support the Pollyanna project. But um, we're going to be doing something awesome in Jamaica. And um, so I'm busy trying to get these um, items to Jamaica. Of course, you can always support the Pollyanna project at www.pollyannaproject.com. No, .org. We are indeed an, a, a non-profit. So we are a .org. We are a non-profit. So oh, we, you can reach out to us there. Once again, I want to shout out to, to um, Alexis out there in New Jersey for collecting over 500 books for the children across the world. Um, big up to the Caribbean Girls Mission of Hope as well. You know, partnering with the Pollyanna Project. Um, we went and we collect notebooks and we collect boxes of pencils and stuff like that. You know, whatever I get, you know, I share it with, with Caribbean and whatever Caribbean get, probably Caribbean share it with us. And that is how we're balancing out the scales, right? And that's what we want to do. We don't want you to give us a little bit and expect plenty. No, you have to balance out the scale, period. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be going to... um um. Let's play a Christian before we segue into Prophet Isaiah. Let's do a Christian. Let's do a Christian song. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sidney Roberts Bell. How are you, Desiree, Joseph, Savvy? I am indeed blessed to have this young man right here. Uncle Trevor, you are who you are yesterday. Today and forevermore What you say is what you do You never fail, you never change You are faithful to the end Faithful God, I worship you I worship you you are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life. And I have come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to do. 
got to believe that he is too faithful to fail any of us. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to go back to, um, pro- to, to our prophet out of Canada. And I'm not, I'm not sure which voice is coming out because, you know, these are past recording and I'm trusting God that whatever I'm taking to play from profit is exactly what we need right now. Greetings to everyone on Positive Radio 106.9 FM, listeners and audiences. My name is Prophet Isaiah and today let's look at John 15, 5 to 8, reads, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. The will of God to us is that our soul is blessed and everything goes well, so that we can be filled with joy all the times. However, our life has ups and downs frequently, even if we are happy. Today's scripture reading has a parable to the grapevine and its fruit. There are three ingredients in John 15, 5 to 8 verses. Let's get into this. Number one, life remaining in the Lord. To have a fruitful life, to please God and be filled with the happiness, we should remain in the Lord. To have fruits, the branch should remain in the vine. Likewise, we should we cannot produce fruits without remaining in the Lord. Therefore, we should be in the Lord with meditating the word of God and being closer to the Lord, so as to communicate constantly in any circumstances, thereby having joyful life. Number two. Life yielding fruit. The reason God shows us is to receive glory from our fruits. To give glory to the Lord, we should have fruits through repentance. A farmer cuts off every branch that bears no fruits because of obtaining better fruits. Likewise, we should get rid of some obstacles to hinder us from assembling Jesus. The real repentance eradicates sins and redirects us to have meaningful fruits fit with true repentance. Furthermore, we should bear many fruits, such as the fruit of the Holy Spirit, of words, of light, of prayers and thanksgiving. Number three, life abiding in love. To give glory to the Lord by our fruits, we should remain in love. Jesus says us, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. Jesus loved us so much enough to be sacrificed on the cross. Only love can be solutions in the world where many people suffer from being deficient in love. We should love each other with the same love that Jesus showed to save us by being dead on the cross. By doing so, the love of Jesus will remain in us and we remain in him. As a result, the love of Jesus will be achieved perfectly in us. Thank you. God bless you all. Bless your auntie Donna. Love you. I love you too, Isaiah. Dear God, dear God, dear God, mighty God.
afternoon to Donna Lochter. Good afternoon, sis. How are you feeling this afternoon? Let's say good afternoon to Joy Wright. My color my complexion just gone. And I have, and I have a thing to do with myself right now. You are who you are yesterday, today, and forevermore. What you say is what you do. You never fail, you never change. You are faithful to the end. Faithful God, I worship you. I worship you. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life, and I have come to realize. Take this time out to just say, Thomas, I do appreciate you. I really do. Shawnee, I appreciate you. you. I appreciate every one of you. To fail me. Your heart is just filled with gratitude. You are to fail me. Molly, big up yourself. Point me. And if Molly is listening, she's saying, you see, me tell her, she shouldn't go down there, go pack up the something them by herself, and all of them something them. But Molly, it's it's like, you know, when you want to use a bathroom, you, you're the only one can do it for yourself. To fail me. You know, some things, it, it, it just come unexpectedly and you just got to do it. You just have to move after the spirit of God. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, da, da. Denisha, young Akana, how are you and mommy? Uh, 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 how is your beautiful mother, Janet Braham? Good afternoon. Yesterday, today and forevermore. What you say is... God is so faithful, everyone. And I hope that you are in that group that believe that he is indeed a faithful God. He is indeed a faithful God. Bar none. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is indeed faithful. Take it from me. I have experienced it. And I'm humbled by his presence. Right now, we're going to be going to the United Kingdom. We just left Canada and we just, you know, we're just going to hop over to the United Kingdom. It's a hop away. From my center, who brings me joy on every Wednesday. His name is Tay and he is a <clears throat> year old, right? And I don't know what he's coming with today. But I know whatever Tay is coming with. His students are there. Um, his students are there, like Taj said, Tay is his Sunday school teacher. He is 11 years old. Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> right? He, you know, his students, Molly love these children. All of you love these children. Debbie, God, God favor me, Brissett. All of you love them, and I thank God for them. I, you know, most of all, I'm thanking God for the growth of the community and how the community has been growing, growing not in numbers, but in spiritual, in the things that are spiritual, in the things that are God, which is causing us to get along better. When we grow spiritually, we will get along better with each other, right, Tanisha? Absolutely, absolutely. And for that, we thank God. Sister Gail Griffiths over there on YouTube. God bless you as well. God indeed bless you. So I want to go to Tay right now. And if I need to smile, I think, uh, let's see if the con color can come back. I don't know. It's sort of mess up right now. So let's see if the con color can come back. We're going to be going to Tay. He's 11 years old and he is coming out of the United Kingdom. VON Radio, are you locked? Are you locked? Hello, Auntie Dwan. All for listeners, I am Tay. I am from the UK and I'm 11. I hope you all having a blessed day today. And also, Auntie Donna, I'm not, I just want to say hello and also I wish I could hug you again like last year. Yep, I remember that hug. 
and it will be one of my favorites. So, today I got another story for you. The story of Samuel. Well, Samuel was a servant to a head priest called Eli and his two sons. His two sons were priests, but they were selfish and sinful, Auntie Donna, and did terrible things like taking the best bit of meat instead of giving them to God because God deserves our best as not yourself God does one night Samuel went to bed but he heard Samuel he went to Eli's room and said yes Eli you have called me he Eli said, no, no, Samuel, I did not call you. Then Samuel went back to bed. Then the voice came again, Samuel. He went back to Eli and said, you have called me, Eli. But Eli said, I did not call you, Samuel. Get back to bed and have some rest. But it happened a third time, Auntie Dyer, wouldn't you know it? He went back to Eli and said, and Eli responded, Samuel, I think it's the Lord that is talking to you. Next time when you hear the voice, say, Yes, Lord, your servant is listening. And it happened again. But this time, Samuel said, Yes, Lord, your servant is listening. And a figure appeared that had a very yellow aura around him. And and God was speaking and said that he will carry out all his threats uh, to Eli and his sons because Eli did nothing to prevent his son from doing all those bad deeds. Auntie Donna, um, my, what would you do if you were in Eli's shoes? I just want you to think about that for a moment. Anyways, let's get back. Eli, in the morning, asked Samuel, what did the Lord say? Samuel said, in hesitance, because he didn't want to bring the news to him, that his, his family will pay the price for dishonouring God, and both his sons and his priesthood will be gone and very soon and later there was a battle with the Philistines and the Israelites but the Philistines won Auntie Donna and both of Eli's sons died at the same time but when Eli heard the news he just had a heart attack from shock and and fell dead. And Samuel grew up and became a prophet of God and a good one. And next time, he, he will face a great challenge in Mizpah. And he done it. I'm not gonna, I'm probably gonna do the miss part bit probably next week or a different time. And but we're now gonna do the moral of the story. So moral number one when God gives you a warning, listen. Don't just wait there and wait for the last moment. Listen. When moral number one, when God gives you a warning, 
listen. Do not just stand there and wait. Obey God's warning. Mole number two. If you have children, listen to this. If your children are doing something wrong, don't do nothing about it like Eli. Do something. And that something is correcting them. Moral number one, listen to this. If your children are doing something wrong, don't do nothing about it like Eli. Do something. And that something is correcting them. Listen to this. If your children are doing something wrong, don't do nothing about it like Eli. Do something, and that something is correcting them. Moral number three, never mess around in the place of God, or in the face of it, even. For you. Moral number three, never mess around in the place of God, or in the face of it, even. For you will pay the pr ultimate price. Moral number three, never mess around in the place of God or in the face of it even. For you will pay the pr ultimate price. Moral number four, if you are good to God, but like Samuel, you will be in the position to hear from God and to the pr ultimate price. Moral number four, if you are good to God, but like Samuel, you will be in the position to hear from God and price. Moral number four, if you are are good to God, but like Samuel, you will be in the position to hear from God. Auntie Donna and all the listeners, here's something for all of us to think about. Eli was a head priest, not just a regular priest, and head one, who's supposed to lead and set a good example for everybody else. But how can we even lead in the house of God, you can't lead in your own home and God. Auntie Donna and all the listeners, here's something for all of us to think about. Eli was a head priest, not just a regular priest and head one, who's supposed to lead and set a good example for everybody else. But how can we even lead in the house of God, you can't lead in your own home, Auntie Donna. You hear from God. Auntie Donna and all the listeners, here's something for all of us to think about. Eli was a head priest, not just a regular priest and head one, who's supposed to lead and set a good example for everybody else. But how can we even lead in the house of God? You can't lead in your own home auntie donna that is something to think about right there auntie donna i have some questions how can you lead the sheep if you can't lead yourself how can you lead the sheep if you can't lead your house how can you lead the sheep if you can't lead yourself how can you lead the sheep if you can't lead the house. How can you lead the sheep if you can't lead yourself? How can you lead the sheep if you can't lead the house? That is something to if you can't lead yourself. How can you lead the sheep if you can't lead your house? How can you lead the sheep if you can't lead yourself? How can you lead the sheep if you can't lead the house?
How can you lead the sheep if you can't lead yourself? How can you lead the sheep if you can't lead the house? That is something to truly think about, Auntie Donna. I hope we all have a great time. Don't mind me, I just need to laugh a bit. <laughs> ah, that really cracked me up making that. And also, now, Auntie Donna, it's time for the virtual high five. I'll count. One, two, three. I hope you all have a great day, guys. God bless and peace out for me. Yo, we need a recovery, really and truly. How can you lead the sheep if you can't lead yourself? How can you lead the sheep if you can't lead your house? How can you lead the sheep if you can't lead yourself? How can you lead the sheep? If you can't lead the house. No, sir. I did not instruct them. That's how God created them. Yes. And every week they come here, they, 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 you, you all haul away with something. You all walk away with something. You all walk away with something. This week, if you can't lead your house. If you have no control over your house, you're going to want to control somebody else. Lord, man, sing it again. Somebody just text and say, if you sing it again. Lord, Jesus, I can't tell me. Me a real puppet, you know. You know, me a real puppet. How can you lead the sheep if you can't lead yourself? How can you lead the sheep? If you can't leave your house, how can I say, I'm going to stop, take me to on pop it. <laughs> I said, see, Anne-Marie Bo, sing it again. <laughs> Uncle Trevor, you call and sing it. Uncle Trevor, you call and sing the song. How can you lead the sheep if you can lead yourself? How can you lead the sheep if you can't lead your house? How can you lead on a serious thing? You have some persons, them house chaka chaka, and them want to come out and tell you if you keep your house in order, like them a proverbia, live through you. No, go clean your house and then you can't come talk to me. Yes, man. This is Auntie Donna CC Hall and pull up. <laughs> I'm telling you, how can you lead the sheep if you can't lead yourself? How can you lead? You can't do it. There's no double-minded. Who was it that says it? it was Layla that said about the double-minded business? You know, you can't be double-minded when you are actually, when you are actually serving God. You can't. Everything must balance out. It's all about the balancing of this Christian journey. God is faithful. Thank you, Tay. You're probably getting ready to go to bed now, but thank you. Thank you. I will not forget that. Take care of business a yard before I take care of business a abroad. Yeah. Uh-huh. God bless your tea. Dear God, dear God, I tell you, this the, the, these Wednesdays, they're good. Where's Carletta? I haven't seen Carletta. God, um, I think Jazeel is going to call in a little bit. Carletta, God, got my back. Um, good afternoon to you, the Fletcher family, the Bell family, um, the Blake family. Good afternoon to you. Um, Mama Lickshot is someplace around there. Uncle Trevor, probably in the basement, not sure. But it's it's this time of the year when he's the most busiest, you know. Um, James 1.8 says a double-minded man is unstable in all these ways. I tell my, my children learn this from day one. A double-minded person is is unstable in all their ways 
If you see me out here and me miserable out here, trust me, me miserable in my yard. If you see me look like me is always the life of the party, trust me, 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 me are the life of the party. If when it comes to teaching and, and guiding, as uh, who was it said? It was it Tay? Who's, the children. Yes, he did say it. You must guide your children, right? Um, so, yeah, it, we, we, we must balance it out. If you see a person arrived, I think we have a, one of my devotion that says that, you know, um, a person who is always late is always late. It's not sometime. It's always. It's who the person is. They don't know how to respect time. They're always late. Right? So we're going to get ready now. I want to go back to um, Christian's song. God is too faithful to all of us. I don't know who needs it. Michelle, how are you doing? Michelle, how are you doing? God is very faithful to us. He's faithful because he has gifted us these beautiful children. To remind us to take care of our us before we are ready to go out there. And sometimes God is giving us the opportunity to take care of home, yet still we won't. Good afternoon to you, um, Auntie Shelley and McDowell. Mr. Adlington, I saw your text. I don't know if I should play it on the ear. Claudette Vassal, good afternoon. Althea Clark, good afternoon. Um, let me see who else is here that I did not greet. Janet Burham, I did talk to say hello to Janet. Um, Cousin Lucy is over there. And of course, those who are on YouTube. We got to take care of a yard, man. We have to take care of a yard. Excellence. If you're excellence at home, you're going to be excellent when you go outside. You're going to act that way. It becomes a part of you, right? So we thank God for that. Right now, I'm going to go back to Christian song. Yeah. I just want to listen to, want us to listen to Christian today. Just so humble to share these children to us to the entire world did you share yet did you thumbs up yet you are who you are yesterday today and forevermore what you say is what you do you never fail you never change you are faithful to the end faithful god i worship you i worship you you are too faithful to fail me you are too faithful to disappoint me you've proven yourself in my life and i have come to realize you are too faithful to fail me you are too faithful to fail me Good afternoon to the one and only Sidney Roberts Bell. You are too faithful to disappoint me. I just love God, you know. You've proven yourself. In the times when I find myself alone by myself, I just love him. You are too faithful. I just love him. We're telling her that already, don't it? His blessings is not those things that you can touch, you the things you can even share, you are. but it's the things that you can't see, like the air in which we breathe. Man, don't you touch the dial today, today, and for blessed all of us with this one thing the air that we breathe what you do it's a privilege you never fail you never I encourage you not to waste it faithful till the end faithful god i will show you 
appreciation to God by being his extended hand uh -huh. to help your brothers or your sisters. You are too faithful to fail me. And today while I was going around and I was thinking and I was packing and, you know, yes. I'm saying kindness is not just the being so able to give someone some things to honey. Yes. Kindness is also you understanding a person. Yes. When you understand a person, you're actually being kind to them. Yes, because some persons just, you know, cannot 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 you can't talk you can't you know what i mean but when you are kind to someone you are too faithful to fail that is one way of being just understanding the person you are too faithful to fail me oh you are too faithful to disappoint me understand me you're proving yourself and i have come yeah man you're kind of complicated you know too faith too much personality me sit down in front of no and go on with in front of every day we're not easy to understand sometimes some people get the two personal or the five personality mix up yes man them get it mix up good afternoon hello I think that's one of my child. Turn Hello, the radio down, second. son. Hello? Hang up and call Hello? back. Yes, let me put him in. Um, that could have been Jaziel. So let's look for Jaziel. Let's look for Jaziel. No, that's not Jaziel. That is Jaziel. Here, here he goes. All right, Jaziel. Jaziel. Yes, I think that's Jaziel. Here he comes. Let, let it ring one time. Let it ring twice. Good afternoon and welcome. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, Jaziel. Hello, everybody. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Awesome. Awesome. What do you have for us today? Uh, some news that happened in Dubai yesterday. Wow. All right. Is it safe to travel there? Nope. What? Uh, but it's not for any like murderous reasons, like criminals. Um, recently, Dubai received a heavy amount of rain, and it is estimated to be a year's worth of rain, or more than a year's worth of rain, in just 12 hours. What? A whole lot of rain was falling in Dubai in just under 12 hours. And it was so much rain that there has been a bunch of flash floods all over the place most of a lot of dubai is flooded the streets are flooded they closed down the airlines to dubai and just every like shore and beach is flooded right now i'm gonna google that go ahead jazeel tell us what's going on in dubai they're not supposed you you can sort it out for our our listeners go ahead jazeel a torrent of rain on Tuesday flooded up parts of Dubai, turned streets into rivers, and shut down the world's second busiest airport for a time. The deluge of water triggered the question, was this disaster caused by the United Arab Emirates cloud seeding program? So, as things happen, people look to point the blame. And they are, well, some people are concerned that a program that has been going on has caused the heavy rain. I don't know about this, um, but cloud seeding, seeding is a weather, weather modification concept that attempts to draw more rain or snow out of a cloud that then would occur naturally. So it's basically forcing rain and snow out of cloud. I'm what? not too sure what this program aims to do because this is the first time I heard about it and I just heard about the, the huge storm. But people are looking to blame that for the rainfall. And any other case, this could just be a rare natural disaster. I don't know if this has happened before in any other place, but heavy rainfall can happen. This just happens to be more than normal. So they're, they are estimating that the cloud seeding program, which would force rain to fall, went wrong 
and it uh, worked perfectly as it forced more rain to fall, causing Dubai to flood. Wow. That's what people are guessing. All right, go ahead. Keep going, Zion. Good job. So, uh, and with more explanation, uh, natural tiny particles like dust and dirt typically serve as the driving force for clouds to condense and let go of their moisture. Silver iodide can theoretically serve the same purpose. Heavy rain has battered parts of the United Arab Emirates, including Dubai, causing flash flooding in some areas. Footage shows the city being lashed by fierce storms, leaving cars stranded in submerged roads. Operations at Dubai International Airport were tempor temporarily suspended. So, yeah, that, that's, that's just about it. Most of Dubai is flooded. And this was very recent. This was uh, yesterday night or might, might have been morning, but this is yesterday night. Mm -hmm. And most of the use is really recent. But that's all that's known right now. So um, is the airport still closed or is the rain still Airport's falling? Closed. Yeah, this was, yeah. Uh, it, it's closed because it's flooded. Wow. Was less than a year I was there. All right, go ahead, son. Great. You can complete. My goodness. Thank you for that. I did not even hear that news. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so just just the, the basis of this, because this is like uh, with the most information, what I'm reading. Mm -hmm. uh what what cloud seeding is since this is like as more news comes out for this i'll keep on talking about it because mm -hmm. this is still really recent and it's either a natural disaster or man-made but what was supposed to happen is what cloud seeding is which i don't know if this is involved with it is trying to get water to fall in areas that lack water so like mm -hmm. forcing rainfall Mm -hmm. And people believe that the forced rainfall happened in Dubai and it forced a year's worth of water down and just flooded Dubai. Mm -hmm. And that's what people believe is what happened. I don't think that's the case. But what do you think? Like, like, what is your what do you think? Well, no, because so the more I think about it, it can very well be because they are just the the way they force it out the cloud isn't like with a machine or much like that. It's just like, well, it is with a machine, but it's just based on science. And they are like, they're not pulling the water down. They're forcing the water to drop. And when you do that and it's in large amounts, the cloud will just drop everything. Okay. Got you. All right. Thanks for that. Uh, that's all. All right. Do you have a scripture for us? Yes. Go ahead. Hmm. As Sabi okay. says, signs of the time. Go ahead, my dear. Ready? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Ezekiel 11, verse 19. I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. I will remove from their heart of stone and give them heart of flesh. You know, we got to have that a put up on that. So tell us where it is found and read it for us again. The community wants to hear your Bible verse. Go ahead, Jaziel. Ezekiel 11, verse 19. Ezekiel 11, verse 19. Go ahead. I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. I will remove from their heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. Thank you very much. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you for always elevating the community. God bless you, Jali, Jaziel. Is Jalil home yet? Yes. All right, five o'clock for him. Thank you. Okay. All right. Dear God, dear God, God is just talking to our heart this afternoon. You know, how, how do we feel about God? How do we 
how uh, oh oh what is the relationship that we have with God and and in turn it wants to know about the relationship that we have with each other you know is it a relationship that's going to make the testimony kind of sweet or your life in somebody's um life is the testimony not going to be so sweet most of these children as the evening has gone on is just telling us reminding us to be connected to God. Our heart, is it in the right place? His grace is sufficient. God is indeed a good God. And he will never fail us. He will never, never, ever fail us. I want to go to Ikea now, coming straight out of Golden Spring in Jamaica. This young man, he is something else, everyone. Ikea is just simply something else. I'm going to let him tell you about himself. And he may walk with his musical orchestra behind him or in front of him. They're called Pinawalis, and they accompany him and almost all of his presentation here on Positive Radio. Take a listen to what Aki have to say, and then we'll talk about the news from Jaleel, Jazeel, and so forth. And what do you think? Pleasant good afternoon, Auntie Donna and listeners of Positive Radio and TV, 106.9 FM, Facebook, and YouTube. My name is Aki Bryan, a student of Arden High School. I'm the founder of the KSM Project Incorporation, and you're listening to the Backyard News. Let's get right into it. Sympathy Mission. Born Staple Trelawney, Trelawney Municipal Corporation officials are expected to visit distraught family members of 72-year-old Carol Brissett, who last week succumbed to injuries he sustained after falling into a recently cleared drain here. We intend to visit members of the family to personally express our heartfelt condolence on the passing of their loved one. It is such so unfortunate, Mayor of Falmouth and TMC Chairman Councillor C. Junior Cager said. Brissett was left paralyzed from the waist down on March 23rd after he fell into the drain which runs parallel to the section of his premises he used as an entrance. Family and some residents have since accused TMC of negligence, a claim that has been staunchly rejected by the corporation. Disgrace. It has been more than eight years since the government announced renovation plans for Maypen Cemetery in corporate area. Yet the burial ground where many famous Jamaicans have been laid to rest remains in a deplorable state. And the workers are frustrated about the unkept promises. Workers at the cemetery told the Jamaica Observer that for years they have heard of plans to restore the cemetery to its former glory. However, no work has begun. The latest promise was made in 2016 when Prime when Minister of Local Government and Rural Development Desmond McKenzie, during a tour of the famous cemetery, said attention would be given to improving conditions there. Mayor like them did want to start some work, but I don't know. You know how long may hear them say that years now. All the walls and fence them, them things they were built up. A worker said to the Jamaica Observer. Cop testifies in Gabby's drug trial. A policeman on Friday recounted the steps he took after receiving information about cocaine discovered at a courier service company. The case involves a taxi driver who is accused of attempting to ship the drug overseas. The detective constable assigned to Area 1 Narcotics was given his evidence in chief the case against Sanchez Rodney, who is on trial for possession, dealing at a, and attempting to export cocaine. The cop testified that on February 4th, 2022, about 12.30 p.m., he was at the narcotics office at Summit Police Station when he received a phone call from a customs officer assigned to the contraband enforcement team. He further stated that after obtaining the information, he went to the Fairview Courier Service establishment with a colleague. 
There, he engaged in conversation with the customs officer who handed him a brown carton box and provided specific details to him. According to him, the box contained an airway bill bearing the defendant's name and was intended for an individual in the United Kingdom. During further testimony, the policeman said he opened the box, which he said contained a variety of assorted seasonings, one of which was found to contain a package with a white powder substance that later tested positive as cocaine. Today I'll be reading a scripture from Romans 13 verses 8 to 10 and it reads, O no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. First 10 and laugh. Love verses 8 to 10, and it reads, we read in a scripture from Romans 13 verses 8 to 10, and it reads, O no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. First 10 and laugh. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Enjoy. I would like to greet none other than Auntie Donna, my wonderful mom, Donna Moore Garden, Auntie Valerie and the family Long Island, Alvin Bryan from Washington State, and Uncle Leslie from Florida. Do have yourselves a wonderful day. Him sound good, don't it? Him sound like him belong on the radio or on the TV. Him sound good. Can somebody just cover them for me? Just, just ask the Lord to cover them and open up doors um, for them in their particular enrichment. Because this is just an enrichment, you know. Um, it sounds really good. Like you could have, him could have read the entire news on, on one of those uh, media outlets that is in Jamaica. Name is Aki and Brian. Remember where you first saw him right here on Positive Radio 106.9, coming out of the studios in Money Earning Mount Vernon. God bless you. What a beautiful afternoon it is. We're almost there. Remember that we have two more to come. We have Jaleel Stewart to come a little later. And you know, just Jaleel just get grown and all of that on us. And of course, we have Minister Whitaker coming to us um, a little later on in the broadcast. Cast. And Minister Whistica will tie it all up, right? Last week we had a total knockout. Everyone, it was just a total knockout. Um, if Sidon is available, she will call in and just talk about um what is taking place this afternoon for those who don't understand. But I I, I tell you, God is good, God is really good. Thank you, um, Akia, for the news out of Maypen Cemetery. Anybody know where Maypen Cemetery is? In Jamaica, yeah. <clears throat> Anybody know? I know where Maypen Cemetery is along Spanish Town Road. It's right across from Rima and Jungle Round the So and Denham Town Round your So. Yeah. So, so I'm familiar with Maypen Cemetery. I know. I know the place. Um, and 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 Maypen Cemetery. I've been around for you know decades and decades and. Excuse me, may I have a e cup? Decades and decades, right? And I know, no, in Clarendon. <laughs> no, maybe in cemetery is not in Clarendon. <laughs> but, you know, as I used to work very closely with the KSAC, and I see it just comes out just like that, as if I'm still working at my, my, my previous job when I was in Jamaica. And I had to bury people there. I had to send people to be buried at Mapen. No, Mapen is in Kingston. It's right in the heart of Kingston, right down there. Um, so as a, as a, as as a um, I worked. You know, most of you know that I worked at a funeral home, um, one of the largest funeral home in Jamaica. And I, you know, when the when the bereaved 
want to decide where they were going to bury it would have been Maypen Cemetery. Um, a lot of persons don't want to go to Maypen Cemetery because, um, you know, them consider it not so nice. And really and truly, it's not so nice because when I was working, um, you know, and I have to get the, 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 the permit for them to go and dig the grave, it, it was sort of, you know, a weird. And this was like, I'm talking about 30 years ago. Dear God. 30 years ago, I used to work, um, you know, where I would bury, send persons to be buried out there. Um, them say, if you're poor, that's where you want to be buried. But um, then there comes other places like the Dovecot and the Medores and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm thinking that it is, it, is, it is deserving of a rebuild, but then I don't live in Jamaica and I don't have a vote in Jamaica. So we're just praying that, you know, the government will do what it can do to you know to respect the dead of some, some sort of way and i'm thinking how far back can Maypen cemetery go them soon reach over the train line i think them passed the train line already and them soon reach over upon the, 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 the that road Mark musgrave road down there so our marcus garvey drive one of them down there you know all right so i want to piggyback and go back to what jazeel was talking about what do you guys think about what is taking place in dubai do you think it was the cloud seeding and what cloud seeding is he did do a great job at explaining what the cloud seeding is and it is you know what scientists does to force the hands of god <laughs> you know because scientists are trying to be god you know they want to fall rain when it is time to fall rain and you know, God just proved them wrong. Am I rain? Oh, no, I fall it when I no want. Am I rain? God just tell them, am I rain? So what God did was show up and show out over there in the United, um, the, the, um, oh, wait, the EUA. Yes. Um, good afternoon to you, Kayon Clark. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Um, and the rain just keep falling. And I, I, while, while he was saying the rain was falling, I'm wondering if the rain was hot. You know, Jazeel, it was the rain hot because it was a hot area. That Dubai is just, I've never feel a heat like Dubai heat. So you understand? You walk out, you get instant sunburn. You know, so I'm wondering if the rain was hot or the water on the street was, was steaming or hot. That is just my thought. But we cannot do anything with God planet or God business and think that he's pleased about it. You know, let God, let nature, United Emirates, yes. Let nature um, take um, its place um, and let God does what he does best. Him fall rain, him fall snow, him do all of those things. Yes, indeed. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you. And I will continually thank you and let you know that I appreciate your presence on this broadcast. The one thing I ask is that did you go, did you share the broadcast as yet? So if you haven't done so, this would be a great time, especially those of you who are on YouTube. Um, I, I see you. I see you come and I see you go. So good afternoon. And not because I say I see you, that means I literally see you, YouTubers. So you can stay on the broadcast. Yeah, you know, you have people um, here for, for, for certain reasons, right, Sami? So we just have to allow the Spirit of God to continue to lead and guide our tongue. Yes, guide our tongue, because I tell you, it's not real out here. It's not real. It really and truly is not real. And when we do see the one that is real, we still can't believe it, even if we are seeing it. All right. Um, what did Uncle Lira said? It is in Kingston out to go out near Denham Town Police Station, come right back to the Bumper Hall High School. Okay, great, great, great. So Uncle Lira is, is telling you exactly where um, the Maypen Cemetery is. Uh, most people wouldn't know it because they don't drive Spanish Town Road anymore. Most people take the highways. They Nobody, you know, certain people don't drive on Spanish Town Road. That is my my neck of the wood. I used to walk barefoot. I used to go over, um, I think it's called a Things Jamaican or KCC place over there. You know, as children, and we used to live up in a trench down there. So we used to walk them down the gully. 
and them the people them used to throw away some good things. A long time me had dumpster dives. From here, little picnic me had dumpster diving, you know, psalmist. Yes, you wanna know something. Yeah, we walk come down the gully right there, so and them used to throw things where them used to burn. It was like a fire heap. But sometimes when they throw stuff away, it was always good stuff. So you could have found some things, you know. So the kids, them, our little children used to go over the air and we'd rummage through it and say if we find anything, if we find anything that is useful. It was fun. That is our way of of, of um interacting or, or having fun because we didn't have money to do certain things. So when our parents gone to work or not around, we gone down, I, I think it's Things Jamaican. And Things Jamaican, you know, they make a a lot of um handmade stuff craft and stuff so when they throw stuff out you know you can get lucky and get a nice like, a dolly with a one foot or a nice nice dolly with a with, with a one hand or no head and and we're glad feet we were happy for it you know and so that is exactly where the the cemetery is persons don't go that way um right in that era it was also majestic theater uh, yeah majestic theater I, I remember majestic theater um because you know the one-armed sword man back then in the 70s everybody used to watch the one-armed sword man so the best place to watch that if it's not carib it's majestic theater so we used to have a lot of fun growing up in kingston 13 um i i used to love it it's only when when i went to to old Arba, i just turned full yeah, when I went to Old Arbor, I just get shy and reclusive and all uh, and confused as a young person. But we used to have a great time when we used to live in Kingston. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to play something from Christian Crook. He has been standing on my shoulder all afternoon for obvious reasons. Um, let's hear what Christian have for us, and then we will wait for Jaleel to call in. And of course, we'll go straight into Evangelist Lashonda Whitaker. Once again, I want to thank you for staying with me. Samis, I know it's almost midnight in the United Kingdom, and some of you are far, like Shellyan, and, and you're far, like those of you are in Africa, it's morning, but yet still, you're here with me. You're here with us, and I thank God for that. Ethelyn Chester, good afternoon. Um, no, Eleth, Eleth Chester, good afternoon. Um, so I'm humbled that you guys are here. It's a whole lot of you that is here, different countries that are locked. Um, Princess Leah, I think I did saw Princess Leah peek in. Um, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Every time I try to make it on my and every time I try to stand and start to fall And on those lonely roads that I have traveled on There was Jesus When the life I built came crashing to the ground when the friends I had were nowhere to be found, I couldn't see it there. Oh, great. So it is 9.58 in the UK. All right. Thanks for that, Shawnee. God bless you. So it's not midnight. In the waiting, in the searching, in the healing and the hurting, like a blessing buried in the broken pieces every minute every moment where i've been and where i'm going even when i don't know where i could see it there was jesus for this man who needs amazing kind of grace for forgiveness and a price I couldn't pay. I'm not hey, perfect, Hey, so anything nice you play it twice. Every time I try to make it on my own. And every time I try to stand and start to fall. And on those lonely roads that I have traveled on. There was Jesus When the life I built came crashing to the ground 
When the friends I had were nowhere to be I couldn't see it then, but I can see it now There was Jesus In the way Good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon, my God, Bobby. Hey, Taj, how are you? I am good, are you know? You're looking good on TV, you know. Me look good on TV? Yes, because me have your on TV. Ooh, me say, I, I wonder if Mr. Adlington will go mad if me play him voice note. I want to play him, try and play Mr. Adlington voice note, you know. Because I told TV, Mr. Adlington, I watch my pan. <laughs> well, guess what? Me make three. So here we are, three TV, I watch you. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you. You're kind. What's up, Taj? Talk to me. You, you know, I just want to say I've been blessed so far by today's broadcast. I've been laughing since the very beginning. God bless him. May tell you come back yet? Yes, he's back. He was watching with me for a little bit until he start puff puff. Mm -hmm. But but you know that's what babies do sometimes. <laughs> but he was watching with me for a little bit. Um, Give we have this. one of them calling. Let me take this and call me right back, Taj. Call me right uh, back. All right. Uh, Good afternoon and welcome. Hello. 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 Yes, good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon, Auntie Donna. How are you, son? I'm great, actually. How are awesome. you? Awesome. Awesome. My good, my good, my good, my good. How you do? Just got back. It's not raining. I didn't it's carry raining? any hoodie or jacket or anything. It's raining? Yeah. Oh, I did. Oh, okay. All right. You Did you get wet? A little. A it's little? closer in tomorrow as well. All right. Okay. All right. So what you have for us today, Jalil? Uh, nothing very. Okay. Something nice and simple. Go ahead. All right. <clears throat> good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and night. You are listening to 106.9 FM with Auntie Donna. My name is Jalil Stewart, and wherever you are, near or far, listen in now. Today, I want to talk about living like Jesus. I always say living like Jesus is a journey of embodying his teachings and values in daily life. But what do I mean? It begins with love, a love that extends unconditionally to everyone we encounter. This love prompts us to practice humility, recognizing our own limitations while valuing others above ourselves. Living like Jesus also entails serving others selflessly, seeking out opportunities to uplift and support those in need. So ask yourself, am I accomplishing these milestones? Am I continuously living the faith that I believe in? This commitment requires integrity, a commitment to truthfulness and a moral uprightness in all our actions. Alongside these principles, Spiritual growth becomes essential, nurturing our connection with the divine through prayer, meditation, and reflection on sacred teachings. Importantly, inclusivity lies at the heart of Jesus' message, urging us to embrace diversity and welcome all into our hearts with open arms. We are all of the same kind, humankind. Finally, forgiveness becomes a cornerstone, allowing us to release the burdens of resentment and anger and fostering reconciliation and healing in our relationships. In striving to live like Jesus, we embark on a transformative journey towards a life filled with compassion, grace, and purpose. So will you be joining me? Will you be joining us? Let's take a moment of silence for my prayer. Divine source of all that is, in this moment of reflection and reverence, we come before you with hearts overflowing with gratitude. We give thanks for the countless blessings that grace our lives each day, from the simplest joys to the profound gifts that shape our existence. 
We are grateful for the love that surrounds us, the beauty that inspires us, and the challenges that strengthen us. Grant us, our God, the strength to navigate the paths set before us with courage and resilience. In times of trials and tribulation, may we find solace in your unwavering presence and draw upon the wellspring of inner fortitude that resides within us. Help us stand firm in our convictions to preserve in the face of adversity and to emerge from every struggle with newfound wisdom and grace. As we journey through complexities of life, grant us clarity of mind and purity of intention. Illuminate our path with the light of truth that we may discern the right course of action amidst the shadows of doubt and confusion. Quiet the noise of distraction that clamors for our attention and attune our hearts to the gentle whispers of your wisdom. In moments of uncertainty, may we find assurance in your divine guidance, trusting that you lead us ever onward towards our highest good. And in moments of clarity, may we be ever mindful of the blessings that surround us, offering thanks for the abundance of love, grace, and all that enrich our lives each day. With hearts uplifted in gratitude and spirits fortified with strength, we offer this prayer unto you. In Jesus' mighty and holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Jalil Stewart. God bless you, son. Is that it? Is that all? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Thank you very much, Jalil. God bless you. Amen. My God. My God. My God, my God, my God. Thank you very much, Jalil. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Great things he has done. I want to welcome the one and only Barbara Johnson from the Barbara Johnson Show on Social Spaces and Radio Station. God bless you, Sister Barbara Johnson, for Minister Barbara Johnson, for joining. Rodcliffe Downs, God bless you. Thank you for joining us as well. Um, let me see who else came on. My nephew, Delano Cooleyman Moore, um, is here. Thank you for the stars, my nephew. You couldn't have given me 2,000 stars. That's all my words, 20. My gosh, man. Sidonie, thank you for always giving me 50 stars. God bless you. God bless you. I wonder if my check from Facebook are going to be nice this week. <laughs> Glory be to God. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Um, I take, you know, uh, what I do, um, I I have no, I don't have any desire to take credit for it. It's just who I am. Like sitting here and 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 using the gift that the gifts that God has given me. Um, and and I am humbled about it because. If I did not use his gift, I possibly would have taken them to the grave. And, I, you know, so and so it is important that we know that it is our God. You know, I, I used to hear people, person says, oh, I don't want you to look at me. You know, thank you, Janet, for those 50 stars. Um, but. But I am I am mindful of the God that I serve. I am mindful that I can't make, make, a, make a side step or I'm mindful that I can't make a, a left step on, you know, I'm mindful that the path that he, he, he has all of us on is a forward path. And all we have to do is believe. Um, Mr. Adlington Lewis is always behind the scene. You would never see him comment. He's listening. If he does not watch any other broadcast, he's, he takes Wednesdays off just to hear these children. And I understand him. I understand Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis, I understand you, sir. And I thank God for your words of encouragement that you have always given me. Um, I can always listen back to your voice note and be encouraged. And I want to encourage somebody this afternoon with the voice notes that Mr. Adlington sent. And Mr. Adlington, no, no, no mad at me, but sometimes we have to play all of the, play this. We have to play it, all right? So listen, guys. And Anna, good afternoon. I'm watching you 
observing you behind the scene with all you, your beautiful children from the Almighty God. Keep up doing what God gave you, not man gave you, not girl. God gave you this platform to bring out his glory. And a lot of souls are saved to these children. It's a day when God did give you this mantle to carry. If anyone else over the world do not take a page out of your book, I take something from this kid. It's a special to profit, a profit guy. That's when I'll, I'm tickled. But I'm watching you on my flat screen, two flat screen TV, I hook up watching you on. So maybe you don't see me coming. I am coming last week for you, see me. I'm still right here watching you. May God bless you. May God guide you. May God shine upon you. Keep up doing what God gave you to do. Bring the mal the manco out. This is not from man. This is from the Almighty God. Keep up. Do. Do make one day pass. They do not come on. Because all of us is waiting for the result from these children. God bless you. But make sure any eyes that do not come on. Any the prophet do not come on. And if something hit me in the bottom of the sea. Bye. Have a good day. Every time I try to make it on my And every time I try to stand and start to fall And on those lonely roads that I have traveled on There was Jesus I play it because I want the children to have access to the voice notes as well. To know, to for the children to know that their sacrifice is making a difference in the lives of the adults. And that's one of the reasons why I, I, I play is voice note. Because it is important that we know that we make a difference you know it is important that others know that you know you i'll be there soon <laughs> in that's florida okay so it's important that we know that 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 the things that we do is changing lives and so i want the children to know that their commitment their dedication is changing the lives of the adults that are listening. Jaleel, thank you very much, sir. Um, I'm, I'm just so humbled to be your mama, you know, really humbled to be your mama. Um, to God be the glory, great things he has done. And may God continue to bless both you and Zion, as well as all the children that are present right now on the mix. God is indeed a good God. In the heat of the heartache Hey, Auntie Dada, anything nice, you play it twice And every time I try to stand and start to fall And on those lonely roads that I have traveled on There was Jesus When the life I built came crashing to the ground When the friends I had were nowhere to be found I couldn't see it then, but I can see it now There was Jesus In the waiting, in the searching in the healing and the hurting, like a blessing buried in the broken pieces. Every minute, every moment, where I've been and where I'm going, even when I don't know where I could see it, 
there was Jesus. For this man who needs a man. Good afternoon and welcome. Hello. Hi, Auntie Donna and Positive Radio family. Your voice gone. <laughs> Yes, Auntie, I think it's a change of um, the weather. Yes. This time it's hot, next time it's cold. I know, but, because you know, this morning it was I'm hot just... and now we got cold. Yeah, because this evening got so cold. And I was like, wow, what's going on here? Then I realized that my voice is completely going. But before it goes, Auntie Donna, I just love that song that Christian sings. In the midst of everything, there is Jesus. Ah, when, you, yeah. when you look around and you can't find no one, Jesus. there is Jesus. And Auntie Donna, Samaya helped to bring that song out a bit more clear for us. Because yes. he said that in Isaiah 26, verse 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because we have trusted in thee. So people of God, you don't need anything more to explain to your heart. You, you don't need no scientists to come on here to explain to you. Once you have Jesus in the midst of the storm, he will give you peace this evening. When everything seems like it's crumbling down, just look unto Jesus. That's what they are saying. Jesus is a, is a problem solver. He's a, he's a burden bearer. He's a keeper this evening. Remember, Auntie Donna, when your mother and your father forsake you, there is Jesus. Oh, my God. I'm just loving it because you know what, Auntie Donna? Yes. Amazing grace, how oh, sweet the sound that save a wretch like me. And to Donna, I like when Kate talking a man because mm. it, 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 it helps us to examine ourselves. He said that a double minded man mm. is unstable in all his way. So, people of God. Do not doubt the Lord. Do not waver in your mind. Continue to trust in the Lord. In the midst of your storm, just lift your hand and say, I know the sun will shine again. Have a beautiful evening, Auntie Donna. God bless you. And radio land. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. My God, my God, my God. Even that little bit makes a difference, you know, Sidoni. Even that little bit that you you came with. You know, I tell you, as as Mr. as 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 Uncle Adlington says that, you know, all of the kids just make it, you know, like it's yeah, when, when one piece comes, it's like a missing, not really, but we, we, we love the dynamics of everybody on board. And I thank you for calling in, um, Taj. This would be the great time, Taj, that you and Matuya can call back in, Taj. Of course, we, you know, we, we, we want you a long time. We're not hear from you, Taj. So please give us a call back now. The lines are open. And I tell you, God is indeed a good God. I, mean, I don't know how to say it anything. And I don't know. It's easier. It's safe, you know, you know, just to say that God is good. And all you need to do is to trust him, trust in him. Feast on his word, which are in the Bible. Feast on it so that you can become stronger in him. So that you can withstand when the evil time comes your way. So that you can know that when you know God is with you and all your strength is there. It, it is important. It really is important that you know the word of God. Really, yes, Natalie, it's important that you know the word of God. Um. Oh, Knowing the word of God just make you confident, right? Just make you bold. And, and, and not just only knowing the word of God, just walking in the confidence of knowing that word. It's, it's a total different thing when you know the word of God, you know. But when you're walking in the confidence, knowing the word, knowing who you are and who belong to you. Hey, as Layla says, Layla said, I want the enemy to tremble when they see me. I didn't say it. 15-year-old Layla says I, she wants the devil to tremble when me want all of my enemies, if I have any, I don't think I have any, I want them to 
tremble. When them see me, I come. I want them to take fleet and fly it and run. I want them to walk like crabs. Seriously. As seriously. They, because them know say, what they're coming with is not the right thing. So therefore, you have to run. You have to flee. <laughs> you got to flee. Because it's a God in which. And you have to confidently know that you're serving the true and living God. Amen. Good afternoon to the one and only Izzy Thomas out of Sister Izzy on the beat, man. Um, guys, support Sister Lizzie in whatever Izzy in whatever she does. Um, dear God. And I saw a highly favored came on the broadcast um uh, uh, yesterday. Um, all of us were just um everybody was on our thing and now we we have everybody have their own thing and it is great you know i don't know about anybody else but i embrace when i see somebody stand out and want to to build a thing for themselves you know support them if you can um remember to join sam is tomorrow uh i think it's four four p.m u.s time sam is comes on the time that sam is comes on i am you know i i peek in and and that's it um, so join Sam is tomorrow, Thursday, I think it's 4 p.m. U.S. time and Jamaica time. Join her supporters. Sam is have a great show wherein she, um, you know, she have, she's very talented as well, as you can see. So Sam is will, will, will pull out any hats out of our bag. And that's why her children are so talented because they are coming from a talented tree, which is Sam is herself. So join Psalmist tomorrow. Um, thank you, Shawnee. 14 people watches and them never eat. The, the, yeah, man. Most of them are my monitors. And most of them are weird for me to say something so that them can go back and repeat it. That's what they come to do. Yeah, them sit down there and watch me. And possibly at least hear if me go call them name. But not pay them no man, Shawnee. You're lucky. That ain't happening over here. We got too much to do than to wait for them to interact. Right? So guys, go ahead and and somebody like it and then take back them like. You know, see that uh, Shani. <laughs> I swear, somebody just took back their like. This is social media, you know, the people them then we take back them subscription and then we take back them like. Yeah. Then we take back them subscription and they'll take back their like. I tell you. So yes, indeed. So we're going to get ready now for um, the final word. Um, and I want to play this song before um, Mini Minister um, Lashanda comes. I, I got a whiff of it um, earlier today while I was preparing. And I just thought that it would fit today's broadcast. I don't know what evangelist minister is coming with. But do, do you believe this is where we put I trust God? I trust God. Do you believe? Do you believe? In order to trust God, you must believe that he is indeed the true and the living God. Amen? So let's do this. So grateful, so are you, I believe, I'm a I'm believe do you believe my god now watch god no one stronger you always watch over me you are faithful i'm so grateful so are you I did see Sister Jean Clark Jemison. Is she in, is she still here? Good afternoon, Sister Jean Clark Jemison and Axel uh, Ansel. Good afternoon to you. And this is Mr. Huntley Marshall. Good afternoon and welcome. Hey, 
love and devotion. Think like the ocean. Somebody say pull it up. I love it. I love the song. I really and truly love it. Tidana. Anything yeah, nice you play it. What? No one larger. You're always there when I need you are faithful and I'm so grateful so are you I believe You believe? If you believe, right? I believe. Savvy, do you believe? The Zeri, do you believe? Always watching over me. You are faithful. He is faithful. I'm so grateful. So are you. I believe. I believe. My God. We got one more coming. Her name is Evangelist. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Her name is indeed Minister Lashanda Whitaker. I love and devotion. Coming out of our, come on, type I believe, man. What? We around here believe the things. We know the God that we serve. And we are not compromising on that fact. Because I believe. I said the song nice. I said I buck up my buck up on it, you know. No one larger. You're always there. Debbie said, I believe. Joy Wright says, I believe. Jamari so Love says, I believe. So Sidney Roberts says, I believe. I believe. <laughs> But you know, so me feel that the Holy Spirit just really be like, oh, take back them like, you know, take back them like uh, for the YouTube. <laughs> I'm never afraid. <laughs> I am indeed afraid. Johnny says, I believe. I believe. I think we're easy. You think people easy. Turn to the. No one stronger. You're always watching over me. You are faithful. This is right when I'm gonna do this. I believe. Yes, I, I want you to believe that. You see that some persons make you their content. I, I wrote this down a couple of days ago that some person make you their content. They are mad because you were with them. And when you were with them, you were their content. And so now that you have left them, they become boring. And now you are everybody's content in, the cer in their ceremony, in their broadcast, wherever they have the opportunity on their platform, you became their content. I just want you to know that you are somebody's content. You understand? Sit on the, you are somebody's content. Somebody always a chat you. When I said that you are somebody's content, it means that somebody a chat you. Somebody a look for you to come back and say what you say. You are some, any one of you who are broadcaster, easy. You are somebody's content. The only way they can get anything from you is what you say on your broadcast. So be careful what you say on your broadcast. Um, who else is here? Barbara, Sister Barbara Johnson. You are somebody's content too. Um, because, you know, them 
thing. This is your life. Um, Uncle Alan Doyle, you are somebody's content, especially since you start dressed like a woman. You understand? So you are definitely somebody's content. Just let me tell you something that the only reason why you're somebody's content is because, 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 and I don't know why I'm going here, but God must have a reason for me to bring this up and I will not change it because the word must go through. And let's hear what evangelist Lashanda Whitaker has to say as it returned because she comes exactly on the point. A pleasant good afternoon, Auntie Donna. Greetings, Positive Radio 106.9 FM, New York, www.positiveradio.com, African Portal, YouTube, Facebook, all other radio dials, family, church family, co workers, friends, all the lovely children of the mix. Greetings in the mighty and precious name of Jesus, our Savior, and soon coming King. This afternoon, the Word of God is coming to us from St. Mark, chapter 4, and verse 38. And the Word of God declares to us, And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not? that we perish here in the portion of god's word and we say amen and this afternoon we're under the theme does jesus care bless the name of the lord you know oftentimes we go through so many things in life and sometimes we start and we wonder if jesus actually does care and i'm bringing you to this particular story because that's the question that was asked to Jesus by his disciples when they recognized that the sea was in complete turmoil and Jesus was just fast asleep they started to wonder if he really cared did he not care that they were gonna die at any moment but what they failed to understand Jesus does care glory be to God and he always will care glory to God so you know no matter what you're going through, and I'm smiling saying this because I too have been through many situations and I've seen God's care and compassion towards me. Glory be to God. He, he often reminds us that we should cast our cares upon him because he cares for us. And it's exactly as he says, we should cast it upon him because he really does care. It might seem like we're all alone. It might seem like nobody's in our corner, but Christ is always in our corner. Christ is always going to come through for us because he's so caring. He's so loving. He's so compassionate. He's so merciful. Glory be to God. So yes, he does care. He does care. His heart is touched with our grief. Glory be to God. So this afternoon, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you have have been struggling with but i'm here to tell you that jesus does care about you he does care about your children he does care about every aspect of your life even when it seems like he doesn't care but he does care and he's waiting on you to cast those tears upon him he's waiting on you to come to him and say god this is what i'm going through this is what I'm faced with. This is what is troubling me. This is what is bothering me. This is what is making me angry. This is what is making me frustrated. This is what is making me sad. He's waiting on us to come to him. Bless the name of the Lord. And in the same breath, lift your faith too. Because when the disciples went to him and he rebuked the winds and the waves, he was like, why were you even fearful? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? So a lot of times we may be going through some things and we say, no, Jesus don't care. But where is our faith? Where is our faith in God to come through? Where is our faith in God to not leave us in whatever situation or situations we're going through? He does care. When the days are weary, the songwriter says, and the long nights dreary, he does care about us. When things not going right, yes, he does care. Glory be to God. He cared when Joseph's brothers put him in the pit. Of course he cared. He cared when Potiphar's wife lied upon Joseph. Of course he cared. He cared when David's brothers were ridiculing him. him. He does care. So this afternoon, I just want to encourage somebody that Jesus does care and he always will care no matter what it is. 
that we are going through or what we're faced with. So this afternoon, I just want to encourage us all quickly. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Hi, my name is Samantha. My verse is taken from Isaiah 26, verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. 26, verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. 26, verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. 26 verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. 26 verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. very much. Thank you very much, Minister Whitaker. Over me, you are We're just going to have to exercise our faith as, as Evangelist Sidoni is saying, you know. I believe. Artist, you know, what it says, um, choice featuring Richie Righteous. You love and the ocean, think like the ocean. Oh, what a father you are. You're my protection, my one direction. Oh, what a father you are. He cares. You got to, you got to walk. He cares. You got to walk when the problem can come and me under attack. And I know that you got to. We got another 20 minutes to go. I want to thank those of you who, who send us stars today on today's broadcast. And for those of you who stayed, Natalie, how you do? Do you believe, Natalie? Uncle Adlington, how you doing? Donna Lofter, you still there? Big up yourself, Queen. Auntie Debbie. Auntie Samis. Uncle Short. Uncle Leroy. Auntie Shawnee. Yeah. My God, my God. Ooh. We gotta play it once again. Auntie Janet. Let me go, let me go. Oh, I believe God. God. Everything he says about me that I hear, I, need, I believe. You are faithful. I believe. I'm so grateful. So are you. Mr. Mwand, you all take a copy out of my book. Out of page out of my book. Well, you believe to write, Sister Barbara? See, you're a warrior. When the enemy see you, they run, they scatter. So you've so you got to believe. Somebody will pray, and when you pray, so till you sweat like almost blood next to come. 
me me just walk in a belief I just know it gonna happen I just trust God I believe no one's strong on, share the broadcast share the broadcast somebody need to believe today as we leave you Jamari, pick up yourself. Where is Carleen Byfield? Let me go, let me go. Where is Carletta? No one. I miss my people. Sister Anela still the boss, you know. When I need. Did you share the broadcast? Guys, if you haven't done so, do this before we leave. Do this before we leave. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Auntie Donna. Yes, yes, Sidonie. You know why I like that song, I believe. Tell I don't me. remember which one of the, the, the children from Nigeria who said the, 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 the quote. You hear what they said? My level has changed. Change. My, My status. status has changed. Come on. By the mercy, grace, and favor of God. Turn on. And it's because Turn. I believe. It's because you believe. Come it's on. because the radio and believe. Come People on. of God, I feel like just worshiping the Lord. Spin your too rules, faithful. Spin it. He's too faithful yes, to us this evening. God bless Hallelujah. You. Thank you. I believe. Let me go. Let me go. I believe. Always there. When I need you are Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for joining the children on behalf of the children and their parents. Are you know they they have grown up right in front of our eyes. You have watched my sons just grow up right in front of your eyes. You have watched the baby grow up right in front of your eyes. Um, you know, as I'm about to think that you don't hear any any anything negative coming from parents from anyone you have watched them grow you have watched me grow you yourself has grown and we can only attribute that to the fact that we believe in god every wednesday if you were shaking another thing you come say you may go back to the night because you have some picnic over there see me say me no know where them the picnic they come from you have all one name prophet isaiah out that yo and you have one little girl she named Layla. she come from england me say when she ready you know me have to put on my head gear for her and then you have one little one named tay him him just puts us a ray of sunshine him sunshine him sunshine the eclipse now have nothing upon him you understand so we want to thank you. We want to thank you. On behalf of them, I want to say thank you. Thank you for the time that you have spent with us. Just know that it's noticed. It is being noticed. Not by man, but by God. You must know that. And if we were to have testimony upon testimonies around here, you would hear, like Mr. Adlington says, how many people have been blessed just listening to the children. Right now we're on another radio dial, um, VOA and radio with Rabbi Keith Elijah Thompson. So we have an, an audience there. We have an audience on the website at Positive Radio where we are locked in several different countries. We are live on Facebook and YouTube and, and on the dial. We have been amplified. They have been amplified. And, and it could only be God that does that. Because we are not capable, Psalmist. Sidoni, we are not capable to do nothing. We are useless. We are filthy rag in the presence of God. But if we humble ourselves in his presence, he will exalt us. And we firmly believe that because of our humility, why we are still here with you. Because we know where our strength comes from. We know whose we belong to. We know that. And I thank God for his grace and mercies. Not only his grace, but his amazing grace. Not just so, 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 so grace. It's amazing grace. And I remember how Tay says that, you know, um, if you clean up your house, clean up your house, clean up your house. 
You can't have dirty house and one going to somebody else's house and tell them to clean it. No, go clean up your house. Meaning clean up your temple, clean up your body, clean up your heart. That's what he means. He's not talking literally house. He's talking about your heart. Is your heart clean? Because your heart can't dirty. And then you're going to tell somebody to fit them out dirty. Oh, you know. Because you think their heart is a reflection of your dirty heart. No. You're responsible for your own heart. You're responsible for your body, your temple. Remember that it's a holy place and Christ dwells in it. It's how we take care of it. And I want to thank God for that. I want to thank God for that. Um, she's asking, where is your bread and butter? I pray that he is well. My bread and butter, which is... Um, Oh, Jesus, my bread and butter out of Jamaica, which is Kirk Evans. He is doing well. Um, I must tell you, um, and let me let me just fill it in with the community. Adris Linda, good afternoon and welcome. So some of you may not have heard um, Taj, not Taj, uh, Kirk Evans, right? He's my bread and butter. Everybody know that. But what has happened recently with, with, with Kirk is this, that when 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 we met kirk here kirk was into the dance hall and um he was uh, um, let me end on on this because somebody need to learn this message and i'm thanking god for the holy spirit in teaching me what to say right now thank you holy spirit When 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 Kerr came to us on this, yeah, on this platform, he's okay. He was was listening to you know dancehall music, and sooner or later he stayed here and he you know got saved and he got baptized. He was going to a church in Jamaica. Now, uh, the last time I spoke to him was in December, like. When I talked to him in December, I re recognized I wasn't hearing from him for a while. And I reached out to him recently. And this is what Kirk says, everybody. So for those of you who are children of God, I want to pay attention. Miss Dana, you know, say, my gun back in the Jehovah witness, you know, say, I guess so my family them come from, you know, at that church they come from and my gone back over Jehovah, you know. Um, so I go really get a chance to come on because you know I say Jehovah. Something like that him tell me. And then after he finished that, he said, You're not mad with me, you're not vexed with me. I said, Oh, me forgot vex with you, brother. <laughs> you know, so I said, oh, I forgot vex with you for that, for a decision that you make. It's a decision that you make. You must know where you belong. I am not here to judge anybody on their religion and what they do. So, so that is the situation with Kirk, guys. So if you don't hear him calling the broadcast, it is because of that. And I'm only saying it because um, Sam is asked the question, where is your bread and butter? Because, you know, sometimes when people don't see people, them, I think they automatically believe that the house and the persons have a fallout. Um, I, 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 I don't do fallouts. I really don't do falls or falls out. Like, you know, person do what they want to do. Persons may decide that I'm not go back over this. So I'm not do that. And, you know, and I can't see in our heart. I cannot see into anybody's heart. Um, I can't. And I, I'm not even going to try that. Um, cause I, I, it's impossible for me to see what is in your heart. E anyone here, because everybody have their feelings and their emotion and they're all, and some of them have ulterior motives as well. So they will go on broadcast and not everybody here is friendly. You know, their faces are here a smile, but not everyone here is friendly. And I recognize that, but that is not my business. My business is to give an account for myself. My, my my responsibility is to give an account for myself. And so um, if you don't see someone, it 
persons are just going through what they have to go through and changes happen, right? We cannot. And I love when people change. I love the change. I, I, I love that, you know, Samis have her own show right now, right? So I don't have to stay until eight o'clock. Samis don't have to stay until after midnight. I love that. I love that Taj, you know, supposed to have his own show. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and I love that. I love that um, Evangelist Lashanda Whitaker have her own show. I, I love that. You know, everybody got their own thing going and their own desire and their own intention and their own vision. Some of our visions is not lined up with, 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 with others. And so persons have to make the decision to go and seek their own vision or live out their vision or their missions. And all we have to do is understand that. And as long as we comprehend that, it, we can live good together. We can can communicate. Samis can come over here. Me and Samis not have nothing. You understand? Do you know how hard it was for Samis to stay up um, at nighttime? That was bothering me. It was it was so bothering me. Do you know how hard it is for Pastor Debbie to do what she does? It was it rests on my heart. I know the sacrifice. I know they love. I know, love me, and I know they love what I do. But now that they can do what they do here at a time that is comfortable for them, um, I'm telling you, I, I'm just humbled because of that. So all we have to do is just be kind to each other, learn how to understand persons, and 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 it, it will be well, right, Sidoni? Amen. When you don't see Sidoni on a Wednesday, Sidoni she works with her two hands. She may not be able to text or or, or write. I can't get up and I'm a feeling and say, oh, Sidoni no call. Oh, come Sidoni did not call. I wonder when me do sit. Me not do sit. Me not, me not do nobody. No, me not going around. I don't go around doing that. You know, and you 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 cannot take anybody personal. You know, you, you're not supposed to. So with that, I want to end the broadcast because I believe that it is well. It is all well. Sister um, Auntie Joyce says, so true, Auntie Dana. So true. What they say, how can you lead the sheep if you don't lead yourself? That is so true. Yeah, but 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 um, what's his name? Kirk is good from time to time. He still calls, but not as often as he used to. He used to call me. And Brother Leroy said, Jehovah, people do communicate. They don't they don't communicate with next church. I used to go to that church. Yeah. Um I, I don't know what it is. They're like, in my opinion, there are some great people. They come out and they walk the street and go and seek soul. Um, we have some lazy people in other, other church. Them, them not do them something that them think them better off, you know. So, you know, to each his own. And 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 who are we to judge? We are we we cannot judge. All right, guys. I want to thank every one of you for coming. And I want to thank you, those of you who have stayed. Um, of course, you know my name is Donna Moore Stewart. I could not be who I am without you. You must know that I could not be who I am without you. You who are listening in your car, driving around the Bronx and K and big up yourself. You who is on the job listening. You who is at work and, and, and at home and just hanging out, watching TV, watching me on your flat screen. Yeah, I could not be who I am. And I'm mindful of that. I need you and I hope you do need me too. So we're going to continue to keep each other in prayer as we go out on this one song. I believe. I do believe. I really believe. And listen to this. And um, Jamari says she's in a hospital with her son. Father God, I put um, Jamari's son in your hands right now. Whatever the situation or the condition is, Father, you are our Jehovah Rapha, the one that healed thee. And because she believed God, she believed your report, not that of the doctor's. We know that it is well. So thank you, God, for her faith, believing in who you are. Knowing full well that the favor that will be granted to them while they're in the hospital, it's divine. And it is from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Thank you, Father. Um, I just listened to you and I like you already. Oh, really? You? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God, sometimes some people don't like me and I saw it go. I saw it go. Mm -hmm. I know everybody feel like it, but thank you, Janet. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Keep each other. Be kind to each other. Pray for each other and... um. Just be kind to each other. It's that simple. Be kind to each other. May the good Lord of heaven bless and keep you. Auntie Ruth Lane, I haven't seen you. May the good Lord of heaven bless and keep you. And may he make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. This peace that surpasses all understanding. And the peace that the Prince of Peace left with us as a final parting gift before he went back home to be with his father. May you learn to hold on to that peace, the Prince of Peace, because you're going to need him in the end. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Silken Debonique, Barbie Kadu, my, my, my nieces are rolling in when I'm about to leave. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. I love you. I love you, Silken. I love you, um, Barbie. Mm, Pastor Burton, you all are coming when? I am leaving. God bless you. God bless you. Auntie Donna, they will go into the field and talk to you, but they find out that you are baptized. They do not. Oh, okay. Yeah, spill the bean upon them. <laughs> Stronger. Yes, you're so late, but go back and watch the broadcast. All right, Silken. Oh, the children are always awesome. And I'm so grateful. So you Bless you, Pastor Burton. God bless you. Keep us in prayer. I see love and devotion. Think like you. Remember to join Psalmist Cheetah on our broadcast tomorrow, Thursday, about 4 p.m. U.S. time. Here, my and, uh, you know, just pray for me. Just pray my strength. It's going to be hectic, hectic, hectic. Jane Castillo, good afternoon and welcome. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to. You got your back. Mr. Jesus got your back, man. Sit on it. Jesus got your back. You got your back. Know that. Oh, what a father you are. And I know that you got to, you got your back. Oh, what a Welcome Nelly and Michael. You got to work when the problem them come when they under. Welcome Jane Castillo. You got to work when they under. It's a miracle father that's our father. Oh, what a father you are. God bless you, everyone. Remember, be kind to somebody and see you next week. Hey, Antidana, anything nice you play twice. No one loves you. You're always there when I need you. You are faithful. And I'm so grateful. So are you. I believe I'm a tyrant, my provider, freely gives what I need. You are faithful, and I'm so grateful. So are you. Now, big up Auntie Dan around the music machine, because you don't know if so she's the musical queen. Look at that prank up on the scene. You're listening to Positive Radio. Yeah, 